tomorrow on rotax.com.au from here. Couple of corners left to go now for your leader, Huey Barter. He's had a good day at the races as Hugh. Certainly one of the best that I've seen him have since watching him. One more corner left to go now. Will Harper doing a good job in second. A battle for third, not over. Check it flag for Barter. Harper in second. In third spot goes to James Wharton. Allen in fourth. Then at Westbury, home in fifth. Cody Mains Ruddy in sixth spot. Connor Davison, Jonathan Marcus and Ethan Feather. And Luke Pink rounds out your 10. Fastest lap of the race went to Kai Allen on the last lap. With a 52.384, that completes the racing today for Minimax. Thank you to Pacific Card Sport, Dale Verrill and all the squad from Pacific Card Sport for all your support of our Minimax category this weekend. We'll take a short break and be back with Rotex Light. This one should be an absolute cracker. There's three races left to go this afternoon. <laughs> Pacific Cartsport offers a great range of carts and spare parts, servicing, race preparation and driver training. Get in touch with Dale or Adam today at pacificcarts.com. So back in action here at Dubbo this morning, the grand final of the Rotax Pro Tour for season 2016. Minimax out on circuit, proudly brought to you by Pacific Kart Sport. Set for a start. No, we're not. One lap before we get the youngsters underway. A full DVD of this weekend's action is available through... The Rotax Pro Tour promoter IKD. If you're at the circuit, you can grab a form from the canteen area or the IKD truck. Alternatively, contact IKD next week and get your order in if you are watching online. Hugh Barter to start on a pole position in the number 68 Praga cart. James Wharton on the outside front row for Schmick Racing in the CRG number 13. Kai Allen. We'll start from the second row of the grid in the 26 with Jack Westbury, another one of the Prague youngsters in the number two. Cody Mains Ruddy in the number 69. PCR Machine from position five with Will Harper in the number six on the 66 on the outside of the third row. Jonathan Markison in the number 71 for out of seven. Luke Pink, watch for him to come through the field in the number 49. Angus Giffen, Ethan Feather, Connor Davison, Dylan DeBono, Jack Beatty, Bailey Hazard and Jared Hughes is your field in this Minimax competition. Set for a start this time. They're looking pretty good at this angle and we've got the green and it is James Wharton who jumps straight to the lead and takes Kai Allen with him as they go down into turn number one. They're all through there. A-OKI, -OK three wide out of turn number two. Just start to get the feeling it's not going to end too well. We've got a couple up in the air as they come out of the turn four, the bottom part of the racetrack. I think that's Pink that's actually got a very good start up into fourth spot. Working their way up to the Mojo Tyres corner for the first time. That battle through the early turns has really spread the field out a little bit. This is very unusual to see someone have such a big lead in this category so early on. James Wharton it is in the Schmick Racing number 13 who leads away the 66 of Will Harper up into second followed by the two of Jack Westbury. Working their way back to the start-finish line. 
So Kai Allen in the 26 actually got shuffled back, the lifestyle cart driver. It is, in fact, Luke Pink who's got himself into fourth spot. Hugh Barter, our pole sitter right behind him. Barter was the quickest man around here yesterday throughout the course of the heat racing. I see online last night he's going to be part of the In Pit Lane program in Melbourne this Tuesday night. Huey off to the World Finals later on this year, or later on this month, I should say. He and James Wharton to represent Team Australia working their way down the hill. Wharton leading by a narrow margin now over Will Harper. But what about this battle about to hit the front straightaway? That's for fifth. It's headed up by Kai Allen, who was last weekend was crowned Australian champion in Cadet 12. It was the, his first Australian championship. He's been racing just about every weekend for the last couple of years as Kai Allen. He's got a really great style. He's really good to watch the way that he muscles that cart around as Cody Maines ruddy. In the number 69, PCR, the yellow cart out on circuit, is trying to make his way forward. Fourteen laps on the board for the Mini Max pre-final. Bonus points up for grabs this weekend. Wharton led the points chase from Alan Barter and Angus Giffen. Will Harper and Luke Pink in there as well. Hugh Barter is the fastest man on circuit, a 52.579 for him. He's the driver currently in fourth spot. Having a fairly lonely run out there now that he's been able to clear the battle. Got shuffled back in that first corner, bunching. Will Harper's closed the gap down on James Wharton now, so... The battle's on up the front. Wharton very slow compared to those around him. A 53-0 for him the last lap. 53-7s for everyone else aside from Barter, who was a 53 52-5. tenths of a second between our top two now. It's really closed up here between Wharton, Harper and Westbury. Then Hugh Barter at the back of them. Up through the double left-handed through Mojo they go. The Victorian James Wharton leads away from the number 66 cart of Will Harper. Will Harper driving a Bennett cart out of Victoria for pro karting. Not too familiar with the Bennett chassis, but certainly doing their business at the moment. Up towards the front of the field for Will Harper as he's closed the gap right up to James Wharton. Wharton had a huge lead at the end of the first lap. Now it's been cut back to nothing. Westbury in third spot there with our pole sitter Hugh Barter in fourth. They're right together as they work their way up the hill. We're working lap number six. Westbury on Harper, they want to be careful though, if they do go for a move, that they don't open it up too much for Wharton as uh, Hugh Barter and Harper. They touch on the exit of the second to last turn as Cody Baines Ruddy goes up a spot on Luke Pink into position number five. So the big loser out of all that was Bill Harper who got shuffled back there. Westbury with some time to think about it now can close in on James Wharton as they work their way into the flip-flop again. Bonus point pre-final here for Minimax this afternoon. This morning, I should say. Across the top of the hill they go. Our top three nose to tail. Harper a bit further back in fourth. 
after what happened at the second to last corner the last time. And Barta go, tries to go for both of them. That's not going to pay off through there. So Barta went deep under brakes, tried to take first and second place and remained in third position. So it's currently the Queenslander Westbury who's in the middle of the two Victorians in Wharton and Barter. Mains Ruddy hasn't been able to clear away from Luke Pink as they work their way down the hill. Pink keeping him very honest and Kai Allen in that mixture as well. But the battle's up front between our top three. Jack Westbury. Another one that's moved up this year. Pushing along here. James Wharton doing a great job. It's been very solid right throughout the season as James Wharton. Taking some driver coaching from David Serra. Certainly over the last 12 months it's really paid dividends for James Wharton as they work their way through. Will Harper was part of this group in the early runnings. Has dropped right off the back of our top three. Cody Moans Ruddy or fancy himself to try and have a crack at Will Harper for that fourth spot with five and a half laps left to go. Now there's a move come from Westbury up the inside of Wharton. Wharton holds strong. Barter gets the run here. Barter had the best of the momentum. It looked as though he was going to try and split them as they went through the last turn here. Oh, we're going three wide down the front straight away with five laps to go. Who's going to come out of this one? And it is the two of Westbury who gets it done. Great driving there from their top three. They gave each other respect in the racing room. And now Barter goes to the lead. Westbury tries to fight back. Wharton sitting back behind him, just watching what's going on. Just keeping an eye on what's happening in front of him. He crossed the line in first. He's now in third position. All three of them side by side as they went down into turn number one. Through the mojo turn they go. It's all coming back to Harper. As the gloves start to come off. Now Westbury up the inside of Barter. That was a good move there from Westbury. Wharton looks just behind him as he thinks about what's going on with Barter in front of him. Can see that there's a fairly clear gap between himself and the fourth place man. Down through turn number one for XPS they go. Katie Mains Ruddy in fifth is caught up to the back of our fourth place driver in Will Harper. Through the mid part of the circuit they run. Up the max attack back straight away. Barter all over the back of Westbury. Into the mojo turns they go. Barter's going to have a crack here. Oh, not quite close enough. I thought he would have had a dig down into that turn. Thinking about where he's going to make his move with three laps left to go as they come to the start finish line. Westbury didn't get the best run. Barter in a much smaller Praga cart goes to the move up the inside, gets it done there cleanly. So Hugh Barter, your pole sitter, goes back to the lead. We've now got a battle in five for this race with two and a half laps left to go. Will Harper's caught to the back of our top three again. He'll be thinking about what happened just a few laps ago. Will he get his chance of retribution? He's certainly got the time up his sleeve. If he wants to have a crack at the top three, does Will Harper. Cody Mains Ruddy. This is the most competitive we've seen him all weekend long in that bright yellow PCR. Qualifying didn't go his way yesterday. Two laps to go now. Very tensely positioned. Mini Max pre-final. Barter with three tenths of a second. He's the fastest driver out there at the moment. In fact, he was half a second quicker than Jack Westbury on that lap. 
One and a half laps left to go. Hugh Barter leads him up the hill. He'll represent Team Australia in Italy in just a few weeks' time. Across the top of the hill at the Mojo turns they go. No, oh, Mains Ruddy. Him and Harper come together and Mains Ruddy's been shuffled out into the dirt. So Harper's copped it from all angles throughout the course of this race. One more lap to go as they come around to the start finish line. Bartle leads away from the two of Westbury. Third place is the 13 of James Wharton. Down through XPS Motor Royal, turn number one. Not much of a gap between our top three as they work their way up the hill. Looks like it's advantage Barter with about a third of a lap to go. Although the battle for second is by no means over. Wharton setting himself up for a big move at the bottom of the hill. These youngsters doing about 120 kilometres an hour at this point of the racetrack. All under the age of 12 as they come through the final turn. Checkered flag is at the ready. And Hugh Barter takes the win and the pole position for the final. Second place goes to Westbury. Wharton home in third, then Harper, followed by Pink, followed by Pink, then Cody Mains, Ruddy, Connor Davison, Kai Allen, Jonathan Markison, Hazard home in tenth, then Giffen, Feather, Hughes, DeBono, and Jake Beatty. What a race that was. Thank you to Pacific Kart Sport for your support of Mini Max straight after this.